there's a lot of people whose lives could be saved by reaching out. With 988, the new mental health emergency crisis line, getting help is a lot simpler. And when you call, you get connected with trained personnel like Christian Garcia. On a day-to-day -day basis, it's mostly just hanging out in the phone room, uh, waiting in the queue to get your, your calls and then answering calls, helping people. A job that Christian says is tough but rewarding, helping people during their hardest moments. Yeah, it can be hard, you know, when you have a 12-year-old who's suicidal, who doesn't really even understand what's going on. You, you won't even do anything. It'll just be a normal, a normal call where you're just listening to someone um, talk about their problems. Most of the time, you, you feel good helping people. It's, it's really rewarding. Christian says when you call the hotline, you dictate how the call goes. He says sometimes he will just sit in silence with someone or do breathing exercises, anything to keep you safe. One of the big things we do is um, safety planning and getting people to just agree to some, some form of plan, whatever that is for the night, to just stay safe for tonight. And then you'll have someone say, thank you, you saved my life tonight. So, something like that, and it's um, it can be really rewarding. And one goal of 988 is to reduce the stigma of reaching out for help, a call that could save a life by dialing three digits. And with this new system, this 988 system, I think that hopefully uh, people that may not have thought to reach out and thought that suicide was their only option um, will reach out. Nicole Camarda, Idaho News 6.